obviously not the biggest defensive end. What do you think allows him to specifically allows him to thrive in the kind of environment that, uh, that, that was there Saturday against those big, big dudes? He's got a great get off, and uh, so he gets his hands on people first a lot. Um, plays with great leverage, and uh, it's really, really strong pound for pound. Um, uses his hands well, positions his body. I've been getting a lot of creases, and just really, really, just a tough, physical-minded player. John would describe him last night as being one of the more respected guys mm -hmm. in the locker room. What do you kind of see? Yeah, he's just con ultra consistent. He shows up every day, same attitude, and uh, same mindset. Uh, you know what you're going to get from him, which is high-level production, um, consistency. Um, does a little thing as well. Um, very selfless player. And uh, just he practices, uh, you know, wide open, and that's how you get better and help you help other guys get better. Fred, how much do you know? Do you guys know about Wofford yet? And is their offense? I know what they used to do under Coach Ayers. Yeah. Is it similar to They're that? Very similar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of option principles, and and uh, they do a great job. They understand how to get leverage and and uh, just run the triple from you know the shotgun. Uh, for the most part, so um, they do a really nice job. They got good, good backs and some good receivers. Get the ball to uh, on some of their play action game quarterbacks that can run and take it to the house. So uh, they do a very nice job in uh, their presentation and, and again the things that they present to the defense. You know, force you to really play again with great discipline and be physical and and uh, you know not get bored doing the little things well. How similar or different is their option game compared to what you used to face in Georgia Tech? Uh, I mean, similar in that there's a dive, you know, quarterback, alley pitch player that's necessary, but other presentations, you know, quite a bit different. Kanter says that uh, teams like Walford, you know, they, they run this triple option probably better than anybody because maybe they're not as talented and stuff, so they have to be more fundamentally sound. Yeah, I don't know about the talent, but just the scheme. Uh, neutralizes uh, your skill, and um, and it becomes again a leverage in the numbers game. And uh, they do a very nice job at understanding those things. I know off-season trips as a coach to other programs are pretty routine, but I think you went to Iowa State this off-season, and kind of just and that kind of just stands out just because of their front. Um, were you able to take anything away from that visit? Yeah, they do a nice job. Uh, they're doing. Uh, more with less as well as anybody. I grew up in a program at Kansas State that that's, you know, we took a lot of pride in, in exactly that. And uh, so we had tremendous respect, you know, for the success level um, that they've had. And knowing the kind of precision and skill that they see week in and week out, they're doing something right. And, uh, but they're doing something right as much as anything, playing good run defense and uh, leading the Big 12 the last few years. So uh, that's what stood out to me. People think that Big 12 passes at every snap, and if you're not watching, you're not watching the games if you think that. And uh, so they, they, they've done a tremendous job, uh, you know, at defending the spread. And uh, got a lot of respect for those guys. What did you think about the win your Wildcats had on Saturday against Oklahoma? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a hard place to play. I mean, it really is. And uh, so, it's a great win for you know the new staff and moving forward and gives them a lot of credibility and uh, and uh, nothing surprises me you know week in and week out in college football but uh, it's a great win for their program for sure. Last year's team was rife with a bunch of guys who were on NFL scouts' radars and fans knew. This year, not so much, but here they are performing well. Is that you drive more satisfaction from that? Or? Um, no, uh, happy for um, the success you know that you know our guys are having, and uh, they've been you know there's nothing better than you know playing well you know as a reward for the hard work that they've put in, and um, but don't take more satisfaction. It's all it's all good. Uh, it's all the same to me, and um, just a different type of challenge, you know, but uh, I know there's a lot of, you know, there's, 
our guys are being evaluated. We've got a lot of guys being evaluated in that back end, you know. Uh, so I can't remember all of our guys a year ago, but those guys up front, but uh, from AJ to Tanner to Kayvon to, uh, you know, Isaiah, you know, that's a, that's a good group of guys. talked about all the losses that you had in the front seven. Is, do you think you've, you've had to adjust your defense uh, more this year than any other year just to, based on your personnel? Um, I don't know. Uh, 14, we lost a lot of guys across the board. I think we had eight seniors maybe on defense in 14. So uh, we had a lot of guys that still played. We had a lot of starters that we lost, but I guess 15 was Shaq and Dodd. And then uh, I think Carlos, Christian, we had some good young guys, kind of like Tate. Uh, uh, Christian came in as a freshman, kind of contributed like Tyler. Tyler's actually a starter. Christian didn't need to be a starter. We had you know, from DJ and Carlos, I believe, and I can't remember who all else was in there. Maybe was that Pagana still in there uh, as well. And we signed uh, after 14. Yeah, we had lost quite a bit, but we had some in the cut board. We still had some guys. We lost. We just had a lot of attrition, and then those guys being hurt this spring. Uh, so, very comparable, you know, the turnover, the numbers, and with the injuries. Just think about those guys up front. That's again, uh, you know, you're talking about without those guys this spring, 10, 11 guys that were in the two deep that weren't there anymore up front in the spring. So. Same vein, 